So I found this new primer and I just kind of wanted to see if it works. Hey guys, Madeline Monroe here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. Wet n Wild released a new 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid and I wanted to see how well it did. It smooths conditions, refines pores, balances, and prolongs makeup. It doesn't say exactly how long it prolongs makeup. So we're just gonna kind of do a daily wear test, see how it goes. So you can probably hear my cat eating because every time I go to film, he loves to eat. Like we're just gonna have crunching noises apparently. Um, it's very hard to squeeze out. Ow, okay, I could shake it out. I don't know how much of this I have to use. It has no real smell. It kind of feels like Germex. Oh, this feels weird. I really have come to like, there is a primer by Wet n Wild. I have it in my dresser, but I'm gonna finish putting this on my face because I really don't know how I feel about it. It feels like Germex on my hands and that was very strange. Um, but it definitely feels like a primer. I don't think I needed to like shake it up or anything. I just can't get over that texture. That first texture was very odd. Um, oh, I don't have it anymore, but it was like, a, I had to go look it up because I forgot. It was called like the Impossible Primer Base and it was in like a squeezy tube. All I know is that it kind of like, it just had a weird silicone-y like texture to it. I know that sounds very awful, but it did very well for my foundation holding everything in place. So I did genuinely like that primer, um, but I do like some liquid primers. I do have the one I had been using beforehand, which was the Primer Serum Hydrating, these little drops, and I really like the drops. Um, but I have that one full. I've been testing other primers and stuff. But that is kind of my go-to is the drop one. But I really did like that tube one too. But I just really don't like tubes anymore. This wasn't bad, but I thought there would be more gift to the bottle. And instead I kind of had to like dump it out. Um, but my face does feel like dried down, if that makes sense. I'm going to go off camera, put on my base, and we'll just see how it's doing. We are back. Um, I think it did pretty well holding up my makeup. Mm, I'm not seeing anything like crazy so I'm gonna do like a little bit of a wear test I have a few other videos that I'm fixing to make so I will do like a check-in at like the hour mark maybe three hours six um, just kind of keep doubling it see how long my makeup stays good for it is currently like 3 16 on a Wednesday so hour before and then at like six then nine I'll keep it on for a good majority of the day, just see how it kind of wears throughout. And I'm also gonna be putting on like a full face, basically, like I'm fixing a review an eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna have kind of a full face of makeup, see how it wears with like eyeshadow and stuff. Right now I just have foundation, concealer, and my powder, plus my eyebrows. I actually did my eyebrows. Um, so it's not that much that's on my face. I might go back in and do a little bit of bronzing or a blush, I'm not sure yet, but I just wanted to have a little like base moment. So with that said, I'm going to dip, I'm going to do some more videos, and I'll just do little check-ins. So ignore the glam. Um, we are an hour in. I mostly am looking around my acne, kind of under my nose, see if we got any rubbing so far. My makeup is staying on. It's good. It clung to the foundation. There's no separating or anything crazy, and it's still still here so I will come back in two more hours and we'll see how it goes so my lashes are off mostly because as you can see this eye is watering not from the primer just from sometimes it will do that I don't quite understand so a lot of makeup looks I can't even like wear for long periods of time because my eye just wants to start doing a weird like twitchy moment um and like yeah so um I have eaten so far and um my lipstick's kind of messed up. You can see a little line of like where I was drinking from a cup. Um, but for the parts that have not been like messed with at all, and this is surprisingly, I have not been touching my face. My acne is still good. 
still covered. That's my main thing is always my acne. Right here, I was messing with. I will be like 100% I was messing with it. You can see like where it like started showing through. But like here, it seems fine. Like it, it seems like it is a decent like primer. It is clinging onto the foundation and concealer. And it is kind of like keeping it there. I think I'm going to call it a night, mostly because I look crazy right now. Like, I need to get rid of that wing so I can, like, look normal. Um, anyway, so I think this is a pretty good primer. It is more on, like, the cheaper side with Wet n Wild. Um, I like to use a lot of, like, cheaper primers at least because a lot of the time primers I feel shouldn't be that expensive because they're, like, just your base layer, like... You just gotta make sure you're like aligning, you know, like water-based, water-based, silicone-based, silicone-based, all that kind of stuff to make sure that they act accordingly. I believe this is water-based and the CoverGirl foundation I use is a water-based as well. Um, and so it doesn't seem like it's rubbing wrong or anything like that. I always feel like if I'm using water-based, water-based are trickier than a silicone base. Uh, when it comes to foundations, I feel like silicone could just kind of do either or. Um, I have not done like an actual like Louisiana wear test of this because it is now colder, less humid. Like that's the biggest thing is like when I'm in Louisiana, you know, love it. Um, I get to do a humidity test basically and a heat test, especially during the summer. And that's whenever like these are actually like your best friend or your worst nightmare because heat will make it melt off if it's not compatible, all that kind of stuff. So I think this is a pretty good primer for it being new, getting to try it out. I wish that the bottle was different. I wish that they had this in a different format, like format, like it's a text document. Um, I basically just mean I wish they had it in a dropper, at least a little bit different um, because this was so hard to like try to drip it out. So I had to like shake it like I did earlier. Um, but yeah, so I wish that the packaging of it was a little different um to make it easier to use because this is a really hard bottle like I can't squeeze this bottle um so I wish that was different like if anything that's the only like negative I think as a primer it worked really well um but anyway that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe if you're new here if you're not new here turn on the bell to be notified every time I upload which is every Monday and Friday and I'll see you next time bye